hi everyone welcome to the channel so today let's understand how to apply accruals for customer transaction in dt65 now before i get started with dt65 so first let's understand what are the accounting entries that is required for customers in terms of accruals right so uh, generally the accounting entry uh, i we divide that into probably initial transaction uh, that's the first transaction that you see and then you have monthly transaction assuming uh, the accruals is done on a monthly basis so let's take an example here let's say i need a rental income of uh, let's assume 60000 and i need to accrue on a monthly basis for 10 months or 6 months uh, basically so let's say I need monthly for six months. Now the accrual setup is already done. So to understand the accrual setup, I have made a separate video where you can watch and understand how the accrual setup is done. So this video is basically to understand how to apply accruals for customer transaction. So the initial transaction is customer should be debited by 60,000 and your prepaid, that's your advance, let's say advance this should be credited by 60,000 so this is the expectation or the accounting entry that should be posted when you're posting your accruals so once this initial entry is posted on a monthly basis the expected accounting entry is the advance that we have taken let's assume this is a liability now any advance that we receive from customer is a liability account right so we need to assign a liability account for this and this is where our 60,000 is there as a liability so here what happens the advance that we have taken initially will be reduced by 10,000 let's assume this is the month of November and my income account that is my rental income which ideally i should be accruing for will be credited by ten thousand now this is the monthly accounting entry that we should post let's say december uh, the accounting entry repeats right so until uh, the six months until the advance becomes zero this is the monthly accounting entry that the system will be posting so this is the expectations that we have when you post accruals for customers so let's see how this works in dt65 so let's say uh, i need to start to understand dt65 so when you post a uh, in customer invoice in dt65 uh, without sales order it's called as free text invoice now when you post a free text invoice unfortunately we don't have a accruals button or a space where you can include accruals in free text invoice now that is the reason why we're trying to follow a little slightly different process but end of the day we will be achieving the same accounting entry in dt65 as well so let's say we book a customer invoice so when booking a customer invoice i'll be debiting customer it will be the same amount let's say sixty thousand. now the credit account will be revenue clearing account so what is this revenue clearing account uh, so basically uh, i'm going to use this account as a set of account in order to apply accruals for customers so let me come back to that let's say revenue account or revenue clearing account is credited by sixty thousand. so once you post a free text invoice go to gl module now here I'll be posting the initial transaction. So first, what I'll be doing is I will select revenue account or revenue clearing account that we credited during our free text invoice. So that I'll be debiting here 60,000 and on the credit side, I'll be picking rental income. So here what I will do, I will select 60,000 here. So now if you have a look, the revenue clearing account is nullified so when i book a free text invoice there's a credit of sixty thousand, and when i book this account during my or while applying accruals that will be debited and this account becomes zero now if you look at the balance 
the balance stays with customer debit rental income credit now ideally since the accruals should be i mean uh, the income should be booked only after accruing right so here when you select this entry and link your accruals now let's say i link my accruals so now what system does system will post initial entry as customer debit by 60000 prepaid account since i am connecting that's my advance or prepaid since i am linking my accruals here system converts this now this main account will be coming from accrual setup that i have done so this will be credited and this will be my initial accounting entry and if you have a look here that's the expected initial accounting entry customer debit advance credit and that's what i'm achieving here and monthly accounting entry automatically system will pick this advance or prepaid which will be debited by ten thousand and my rental income which i have connected in my jail transaction will be picked for my credit so and this is the monthly expected accounting entry advance debit rental income credit so this is how you achieve or apply accruals for customer in dt65 so let's do this more in the system and see how the result will come out so let's get to the system now the first thing is i need to post a free text invoice so let's go to air module accounts receivable then go to invoice all free text invoice so click new to post a new free text invoice let me select the customer here so i just have one customer so i'm going to select that and you can see all the details is pre-selected so just scroll down so here in the main account as i explain i'll be selecting revenue clearing account so let me select the main account that's my revenue clearing account and uh, let me remove this quantity so unit price uh, i don't need to enter since i don't have a quantity so let me just enter here on the amount so i will take sixty thousand save and click post so let's post the free text invoice uh, posting yes and click ok once the transaction is posted you can click on invoice journal to see the accounting entry so click on voucher now if you have a look of the accounting entry here the customer is debited and clearing account is credit once this entry is posted uh, once you receive the payment you go to customer payment journal and you will be posting the payment now that has not, nothing to do with accruals so let's go for accruals concept so i need to go to gl module so let's go to journal edge module so that's my gl then go to journal entries journal journals okay so click new I'll be posting a GL daily transaction. So select the journal names, daily GL, then go to lines. So here I'll be selecting a revenue clearing account. Now remember when I initially posted the revenue clearing account was credited. Now the same account will be debited by 60,000. So if you have a look here in the free text invoice, the revenue clearing account was credited by 60,000. The same account is now being debited by 60,000 on the offset account I am going to select my rental income so this will be the account generally you will select for which income you need to apply accruals so I am taking rental income as an example save so once you save this transaction uh, that is my revenue clearing to rental income let's link accruals so click on functions then click on ledger accruals now remember the accrual setup is already done so let me select the accrual identification uh, so this is the accruals that i've created so this is basically uh, you know posting end of the month for six months that's the setup that i have done so let me pick that here now what you need to clearly notify here is make sure that the accruals is applied on the rental income and not on the revenue clearing account if you apply on the revenue clearing account 
you will not be able to achieve this accounting entry right so make sure you select the rental income so now click on transactions just to see the accounting entry before posting so if you look at here what is the accounting entry so the accounting entry rental income is credited by 10,000 and my prepaid account that's my advance account you can see customer advance is debited by 10,000 so that's the monthly transaction if you look here November December Jan Feb March April so each month the accounting entry is income credit advance debit and that's what the expectation is right whether it's t365 or in general this is the expected accounting entry and that's the accounting entry that i'll be seeing here so just say come back and let's click ok and then let's post the transaction so click on post to post this transaction once the transaction is posted let's have a look at the complete accruals transaction so go to print and click on post a transaction by journal so here let me select ledger account types and also get the information of ledger account if you have a dimension you can select that to get the dimension breakup so click ok now if you open the report now here you can see again this accounting entry is in just one ledger this is because of the accrual setup that i've done right so what is the accounting entry initially if you have a look here customer advance is credit revenue clearing account is debit and that's the expectation right so if you have a look here that's your advance or prepaid account uh, that's what will be credited customer advance and your revenue clearing account is debit and each month if you have a look here the debit is your customer advance you can have a look here at the date now but it's more jan right each month the same account is debited by ten thousand and your rental income is credited by ten thousand so this is how you apply accruals for customer transaction in dt65 that's it for today's video thank you